everybody, welcome back to the channel Grantito. I'm your host Grantito, and welcome to All right. That was uh that was something. Welcome back to the channel Grantito. I'm your host Grantito, aka Mr. Egghead, and today have I got another wonderful treat for you. With the release of Netflix's new Jurassic World series, Camp Cretaceous, come some very exciting figures from Mattel. And one figure that I've recently purchased for your viewing pleasure is about to be revealed today. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the epic roaring Tyrannosaurus Rex. Mm, beautiful. Let's get it out of the packaging, shall we? My god, I can't even fit it into the shot. It's so big. <laughs> But yeah, this is the epic Roaring Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it is glorious. When I first saw this figure at the New York Toy Fair, I looked at this thing and said, what the hell is that? It's the most atrocious T-Rex I've ever seen. Why is it having a seizure? It's just weird. It was just weird. But now that I'm seeing it in person, I understand why people are praising this thing for being the ultimate Mattel T-Rex. And allow me to show you why. As you can see on the packaging here, we have the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous logo, Primal Attack logo, as well as a demonstration on what you can do. You can chomp, you can thrash, and you can epic roar. Here's a look at the back of the packaging. It pretty much shows the same information on the front, but it has a unique like diorama of the T-Rex. That's a very nice shot right there, even though it looks like it's somewhat photoshopped. And then just down here in the bottom right corner, there is the Toro Carnotaurus, which we'll probably review later on. And like with all the other Camp Cretaceous figures, we have the stupid map. And I'm just going to completely skip that, because we all know it sucks and we don't want it. So let's just get to the figure, shall we? My god. Here she is. The Queen of Nublar herself, in her purest, most amazing form. The sculpt alone on this figure has just amazingly captured the details of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Looking at the head alone, it looks just like the Stan Winston animatronic. Maybe a few details off, but my god, this thing looks so beautiful. That is a Jurassic Park T-Rex right there. Wow. There, that's better. Now it's standing nice and straight. My god, it looks like a statue almost. The detail is... Like I already said, I keep praising this thing for the detail. It looks just like a Jurassic Park T-Rex. Like, there's nothing more I can say. The coloration is good. The shading of brown looks so good compared to, like, other Mattel Rexes we have. I'll be sure to get to that later, but, like, just... I just need to admire this amazing Tyrannosaurus. I just need to admire this amazing Tyrannosaurus. Take a look at that mouth. And the tongue is rubber. Mattel has learned from their past mistakes and this tongue is totally flexible rubber. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. It's like a puppy dog. There we go. But yeah, just look at the shading of the brown here. This is exactly like the... This is so much like the Stan Winston animatronic, it's just impressive. Like, the shading of brown is just perfect. I, I have no other way to describe it other than perfect. You do have Rexy's iconic raptor scarring right here, as well as here on the neck. Oh my god, it just looks... It's so beautiful, I have no words for it. Wow. Even... The shape of the body... The head is perfectly sized. Look at it from the back. If I put this figure like this in some like warehouse or something, you'd think this is a behind the scenes like photograph or video from Stan Winston Studios. No, this is a toy. This is a Mattel toy. Oh God, it's challenging me. I know what people are waiting for, the epic roaring Tyrannosaurus. Well, as demonstrated on the bottom of the box here, there is a button on the tail right here and if I push this button. She screams like a lunatic. <laughs> that is awesome. Let's do it again. The head shaking's a little weird. When I first saw that, I thought the T-Rex was having a seizure. 
It's supposed to be like the Tyrannosaur's body like shaking due to the wrath of the roar. It's so cool. Like the Tarbosaurus in the Syats figure, you can turn the tail and make it turn its head like this. And kind of like the Thrash and Throw, if you pull up on the tail, the head will go down. So can I like... That's really neat. Comparing it to a human figure, this T-Rex is perfectly in scale. Robert Muldoon figure is about the same length or height, I guess, as the Tyrannosaur's head, and the rest of the body is also well proportioned. I should also note that the tail is almost the correct length. It's still a little bit short, but compared to other Tyrannosaurs, the tail is actually a little bit longer and it looks so much more well balanced. <laughs> uh, that doesn't look like... Okay, that doesn't look like the T-Rex exactly eating Gennaro off the toilet. It looks more like that... The action reminds me of like that T-Rex from Spongebob that was chewing on Patchy the Pirate. <laughs> now he's tickling! <laughs> so, starting off, here are some Rex comparisons. We have the two queens here, and we have our sub-adult male T-Rex from Jurassic Park 3. Um, as you can see, this one obviously doesn't count, but I wanted to compare it just so you can see the size difference. This one is considerably shorter, but I think it is supposed to represent a sub-adult, so we're just going to exclude him for now. Disregard that. When you look at the facial details of these two, which one do you think looks better? The one on the right, right? They do have some... There's just slightly more detail on the face. Here, it's much more subtle, and like when you look at the front part of the snout, there isn't really much of anything there. But when you look at this one, you can see every single little bump on that face. It is glorious. And the head shape. I think a lot of it has to do with the neck. I don't think they changed too much of the head, because if you look at the neck here, the neck of the old one is much more curved down. This one, on the other hand, isn't. It's much, it's got a slight curve, but not as bad. So I think this one is more accurate in terms of design. This one's head is more upright and it looks almost like a Velociraptor. Both of these figures are very cool, but I'm gonna have to go with this one. This one is my new favorite. And now for Rex's rivals. We have the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3, and we have the Indominus Rex from Jurassic World. As you can see, Rexy and the Spinosaurus are much more close in size. If it weren't for the spine on the Spinosaurus back, these two would be just about the same. But you know what? The skull of this one is far thicker than Spinos. Which is why I think T-Rex would devastate Spinosaurus in a fight. <laughs> I better be careful, I don't want to get into a hole. T-Rex versus Spinosaurus argument, because we don't need that wildfire going on in the comment section. Looking at Rexy versus Indominus Rex, Indominus Rex, of course, is much bigger, but that's, you know, that's canon. But they still look nice together. And because the T-Rex's head shape looks more, like, you know, big and thick, it's much, m it seems to fit more in scale with the Indominus Rex than the other ones. It seems to fit more in scale with this Indominus Rex than the other Rexes, so... Oh my god, I never looked at it from that angle. Look at that! Hold on. It looks just like that picture of the T-Rex from The Lost World that they kept advertising. God, Mattel, you did such a good job. <laughs> Remember when people fought over this thing? Like, people were going head over heels for it. Mine can barely stand. Look at this piece. And listen to that neck. Oh! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
So, what do I think of the Jurassic World Epic Roaring T-Rex? What am I going to give it? Well, there's no other way to say this, but I'm going to give this thing a 9.5 out of 10. The sculpt is on point. This is the best looking T-Rex you're going to get from Mattel. It's better than the thrash and throw, it's better than the extreme chomping, it's better than the bite and fight. This thing tops all of those. Like, this thing is like on par with the Red Rex. The Red Rex is supposed to be just a copy of the Stan Winston maquette. This is originally crafted by Mattel, and it looks just like the Stan Winston animatronic. It is so good. The only flaws that I have with this figure, really, is that it isn't neutrally posed, and the shaking mechanic... I don't know. Sometimes it's cool, sometimes it's not. But... You know, if you're gonna get a Mattel T-Rex, I highly suggest you get this one. If you're a completist, I suggest you get this one. And if you love the T-Rex as much as I do, get this one. Mattel, you did a fantastic job with this T-Rex. I love it. Mm, it's my favorite. <laughs> okay, that was kind of cool. It may have actually topped Bumpy as my favorite Jurassic World figure. And Bumpy, we all know Bumpy is like the elite like perfection anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i strongly suggest that you get an epic roaring t-rex for yourself and if you would leave me a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't that would make my day just a little bit brighter i'll see you guys on the next video bye bye